have a look there. I don't know if any of you have been aware of this or do this maybe in your own home or know of somebody who does it, but to save water when flushing a toilet, a brick is sometimes put inside the cistern. Now the cistern, the cistern is this back section of the toilet. And that's where the water goes in and it, it stays there until the toilet is flushed. Now what some people do is they take a brick and they put it in there or some big, con big thing, heavy thing, to take up some of the space of the water so that we don't have, to, don't have to use so much water every time we flush the toilet. So now I'm going to ask you a question um, related to this. So keep this in mind and visualize it as we go through the question. It's quite, um, it's a little bit complicated, but to hang in there because we're going to have, all have a break for a few minutes just now. But if you can just stick with me for the last little section before we take a break. The cistern, that's the back where the water goes in, is 45 centimeters long. The height from top to bottom is 30 centimeters and the width is 20. So it's 45 across there. The height here is 30 and the depth over there is 20. So now we've got all the measurements to work out the volume. But a little trick in this question is that it says the level of the water doesn't go right, right to the top. It's five centimeters from the top of the system. So keep that in mind. So now let's forget about the brick for now because the question doesn't involve the brick. Let's just do the first question, part of the question here. It says how much water in liters does the cistern hold before the brick is put inside the cistern? So there's no brick in there yet. It's just full of water. And how much water can it hold? And the conversion to liters, because they want their final answer in liters, is um, 1,000 centimeters cubed is one liter. So we're first going to work out the volume in centimeters cubed. When we've got that answer, we can work out the liters. So if we go back here, I want you to see volume equals length times the breadth or width times the height. But just one little thing I want you to realize is that the height isn't a full 30 centimeters because it stops 5 centimeters from the top. So all I want you to remember here is that the, the height is 30 centimeters of the height of the water minus five centimeters. You must subtract that five centimeters first before you work out or use the height measurement. So we're going to work with 25 centimeters and not 30 because we want to work out the volume of the water in that, in that system. So take that. I want you now to work out the volume for me of that um, system. Let's just go back to the question so you can see the numbers and the values. The volume, you must use those three numbers, but the 30, you must subtract the 5. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I'm going to help you now with this question. The length we said was 45 centimeters. The breadth or width was um, 20 centimeters. And the height, remember we changed it from 30 to 25 because it's 5 centimeters from the top. If we multiply all of that together, we're going to get 22,500 centimeters cubed. I hope some of you got this correct. JC Matumi, how are you doing over there? Are you getting these sums correct? Yes, I'm th I know you're there. Now what we're going to do is to convert from centimeters cubed to liters over here, we've got to divide by 1,000. So you must divide by 1,000, and then you're going to get, you've got to go 1, 2, 3, so it's going to be 22, 5 liters are in the back of the system when it hasn't got a brick inside it. All right. Have you all got that down? And remember to go back to your question and look. They wanted it in liters, so you have to do that conversion at the end. Now we've got a brick that they want to put in there, but the brick is 200 millimeters in length. 100 millimeters in width and 7 centimeters in height. Can you see the units aren't the same here? 
And that, that, that's a good, there's a good chance that you're going to get questions like this where the units are not the same. And you can't just multiply them. You've got to change them to the same units. Now, are we going to change them to millimeters or centimeters? Come on, how many of you say centimeters? In the millimeters? Right, those of you who thought centimeters, you, you correct. Well done. Because we're working with the liters and we're doing this conversion here, and because we've got centimeters up there, it's a good idea just to change these two to centimeters. Then we've got it, while it's just a straight length and not a cubed or a squared or anything like that, it's better to change it now so that you've already got it in the correct um, form at the end. So we're going to first change 200 millimeters to centimeters. And what do we do there? We divide by 10. So the 200 cent uh, millimeters is going to become 20 centimeters. And let's see if you can do the next one. Yes, it's 10 centimeters, eh? So now I want you to work out, let's look, look what the question says. It says, what is the volume of the brick in centimeters cubed? Volume is length times the width times the height, or length times breadth times height. Width and breadth are the same, in case anyone's unsure. Remember, in case you forgot just now, um, when, when I said you mustn't use 200 millimeters or 100 millimeters. You must change these two to centimeters. So we're going to work with 20 length and 10 width. The height is 7. It can stay the same. Right. Let's have a look if we can do this. If you look over here, the formula for the volume of the brick is length times breadth or width times height. So that's the formula. But now we want to change these now, as I said just now, to we want to change them to centimeters. So 200 millimeters becomes 20 centimeters. So there we're going to put 20 centimeters times the breadth. It's going to be 10 centimeters. We're going to make it 10 centimeters. And then the 7 stays the same, times 7 centimeters. I get an answer of 1,400 centimeters cubed. I hope some of you also got that answer. Hey, that's 107, uh, 1,400 cent, uh, centimeters cubed. Now let's go on to the last part of this question. There we are, the volume of the brick, and now we're going to look at the last one. How much water in liters is in the cistern when the brick is inside? So now, let's pretend the toilet is empty. Someone's just flushed it, and they quickly put the brick in. And now the water's going to run in. Is the water going to be the same as in the beginning? Yet, A, hey, no, it's going to be less because the brick is taking up some of the space of the water. So as the water runs in, now we're going to have less water in there, and that's going to save water for the owner of that house or wherever that toilet is. It might be a business or wherever. They're going to save some water every time somebody flushes because less water is going to go in. Now if we look at the next part of the question, um, how much water in liters is in the system, and what are we going to do there? We're going to do a subtraction. I hope some of you have realized that. Eh? We're going to do a subtraction. But, but, remember, the volume here of the brick was in centimeters cubed. So I want you to take your answer of 1,400 centimeters cubed, first change it to liters. How do we change it to liters? We divide by 1,000. So change it to liters. Let's look here. The cistern has got 22,5 liters. The brick is 1,400 um, centimeters cubed. If we divide by 1,000, we're going to get 1,4 liters. So we're saving 1,4 liters every time somebody flushes the toilet. 
So the water, the actual water in the, in the toilet or in the cistern will end up being the cistern's volume, the wa a maximum water level, minus the brick. 22,5 liters minus 1,4 liters. And then we end up with now, we're only using 21,1 liters instead of 22,5 every time we flush. That was quite a complicated question and we had quite a few steps involved and so on, but I, I know there's some of you that are managing to keep up. Maybe you can help those who were struggling a little bit. But um, good luck for the next section. We're going to start it just now. We're just going to take a short break and then we'll come back.